Hello everyone, Krim the Koopling, and welcome back to more Super Mario Bros. 2. Last time we did World 1 1 and World 1 2, and we were in the middle of World 1 3. This time we're going to finish one, World 1 and hopefully get to World 2. Uh, one thing you might as well, I might as well say is that I am going to do these mo mostly. I will do them in one, some of the mo most of these recordings in one day on the same day. So like this is being recorded the same day as my first Super Mario, as my first Mario Brothers two, as the first video on Mario Brothers two that I did. So, and that's what I'm planning to do for Mario three as well. Like I'll do m most of the, like I'll do some, I'll do, m I'll get to a certain point, and then I'll stop, and I'll stop for the day, and then do it, an and then you guys will have a, a bit of content to watch over the week, until, I want to say maybe next Saturday or Friday, before I start recording again. Anyway, we have this key, and we need to bring it all the way down. And also, if you're wondering, like, how come I haven't been doing super. Yoshi's Island for a while it's not that I don't want to do it I mean I want to do it but there's one thing that's kind of preventing me from doing that I only have it for the Wii I only have Yoshi's Island for the th for the Wii U so unfortunately well my Wii my gamepad unfortunately hasn't been working right and I'm planning to get it f and I have to kind of get it fixed so I'm Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to wait a while before you so unfortunately you guys will have to wait a while before you see any more of Yoshi's Island So I'm really sorry, but unfor Unfortunately that happened and well, I can't do it. I'm honestly really sorry. I Never I never really expected it to happen Once because I've had this Wii U ever since 2011, but it did but anyway, these enemies, I should have explained, are Sparkies. I hate these enemies. They're one of the worst enemies in the game. And I, and basically, they're just really annoying. And I don't even really need to explain them because they're really self-explanatory. But anyway, that boss just got defeated so easily. Mario 2 bosses are much easier. In fact, I'd say they're even easier than some of the Bowser fights in Mario 1. Well, basically, he throws bombs, but if you throw... But you can actually catch them, and if you throw them in the center, then pretty much you can throw it right back at him, and he will immediately get hit since he always stays close to the middle. So that boss is really easy, and I might as well call, and I might as well tell you his name, Mauser. That's his name, Mauser. Exciting news! But he was also in the uh, Super Mario Brothers Super Show cartoon. And he was a lot more relevant, I'll say. He's a lot more relevant, and I, and honestly, I think that, and honestly, that cartoon's more based off Mario Two, in my opinion, than Mario One. I mean, we rarely, we don't even, I don't think we see any Koopa Troopas in that show, but I don't really care about that show because if you've seen that show, may God help you, and if you haven't, God bless you. God bless you if you've never heard of it. Because that show is pretty, is really bad. Really bad. Heck, I, I prefer the Mario Brothers 3 or Mario World cartoon than that one, in my opinion. Like, it's not fun, it's not so bad, it's good, and I can make fun of it. It's just insufferable for me to watch, in my opinion. I really don't like it. But anyway, speaking of things I don't like, this is the gimmick of World 2. These sections where you have to keep digging up sand. And I hate these sections so much. Seriously, if you're not playing as Toad, these sections go on for minutes. And honestly, I hate these sections with a passion. Because they they go on for way too long. And they're and they're just there mostly to annoy and they're mostly there just to annoy you. And especially with the shy guys that will come constantly fall down and follow you. So if you didn't grab some heart containers. You'll probably die, which is really annoying. But anyway, a cool tip about the Birdo bosses. You can actually, in the GBA version, you can actually pull off their bow and actually use it as a weapon against them. I don't know, I really loved doing that as a kid. But unfortunately, I lost the GBA 
port of the game, so I don't know where it is, unfortunately. But anyway, this is the last of the easy bosses with Bur with Birdo. The next Birdo boss, and the next Birdo bosses, I might as well say, are much harder than that one. Let's see how much we get. Nope. But yeah, I, the reason I want to I want to play as Toad first, mostly, besides him being the hard mode, there are 20 levels in the game, and honestly, I want to give every character its own, their own screen time. So thankfully, this is going to be the last level I play as Toad in. Thank God. But anyway, this level is honestly not not, not as tedious as the last one. I don't know, I kind of don't find most of them, these levels memorable, especially since they don't have names and they're not really that iconic. And I don't know, for me it's kind of hard to memorize them. But I still think this game is much better than the first, like I said. The controls feel so much smoother. Even as Toad, I feel like I'm in control. Which I could never feel like in Mario 1. And 1, I like this game playstyle a lot. Sure, a lot of people don't like this game and say it it, it was it's good, but not as good as the first. I'd argue that this is as, almost as good as the first. If you're going through that door, there's a secret, there's another passage, and basically it's another way to get a fourth heart container. But it really doesn't matter since this level is really easy and really short. And honestly, I could do it with three, so it doesn't really matter. But anyway, we got these guys. Panzers. A lot of people hate these enemies, and I agree. They are really annoying. They shoot fire. They shoot fireballs. And and while they're stationary, so, sometimes some of them I think move. In in the in the in the next world, there are blue ones that actually move, which is really annoying. Especially since they shoot fire and are the only enemies that actually can attack you. I just lost the star. Ugh, I lost the star, which is which is really bad since you really want to have the star. It makes this section so so death 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 fray. Jeez, man, wording today. Jeez, but yeah, I just hate these digging sections. They're the worst. And yeah, you don't really know what's below. So basically, you're leaning it all to faith. If you on where you're gonna go, where you're ending up. And look, I went through the wrong way. Sure, you could see it would, it would make sense to go on the harder route, but even then, I have one heart, heart left. So why would I wanna ri risk myself dying? And basically, it would be kinda pointless if I did it because it's really just a way for me to lose a life. Ugh, I hate these digging sections. I might, I'm sorry, I really hate these digging sections. I'm just lucky I play Mario Party. That pretty much, if you've played Mario Party before, you won't have that hard a time here. But for a kid, for anyone who was back in the 80s who played this game and had to deal with this and didn't choose Toad, oh god, I feel so bad for them. Okay, get this, get the star. And now let's just dig down, kill the Sniffit. Oh, uh, oh, uh, really? Really, the heart got caught through the... That's another thing that really annoys me, that I'm getting caught in on the walls. It also a questionable thing. You can actually... Well, yeah, Bird actually shoots fire, so it's a little bit harder. But if the... You see how the egg is falling? If it... It can actually hit you and kill you and actually kill me. Which is really annoying. But you can also use these mushroom blocks. But there was actually a, an interesting thing you can do to Bird in the GBA port once again. There was a there was an easy way to literally glitch this boss and make it hit and when you throw basically you throw something and then you and then when it, she's firing an egg, an egg it will hit her two times so basically you get two hits instead of one that's a really useful thing to do in the GBA version though honestly she's really easy even with the fire but anyway that's going to be it next time we're going to go through 2 3 and we're going to play as Mario. See you guys then.